Hi, I'm Anna Carey and I'm going to talk today about humour and its importance in storytelling. So all of my favourite books have a sense of humour and by that I don't mean they're like necessarily laugh out loud funny, although some of them are, but I mean that they have a sense of the absurd and the ridiculous and when something is just uh, preposterous, even in the most serious moments. Um, because that is what life is like. You know, we make jokes in dark times, we find humour as a way of coping with difficult uh, issues and subjects. And I think that's why humour has such an important role to play in fiction in general. The thing is, obviously, everybody has their own sense of humour. Everybody finds different things funny. And I think it's really important to stick close to what you find funny when you're trying to, to write a comic scene or if there's something that just tickles you and you find amusing. Um, because if you try to write what other people will find funny or what you imagine other people will find funny, it'll never have that authentic voice that's really important in fiction. Whereas if you write just, well, I think this is hilarious, somebody else will. You know, they somebody somewhere will. Um, so I, I think it's a really important thing to not try and second guess anybody else's responses and to stick to uh, what you yourself think works. Um, and the thing is with humour, it doesn't mean that you're not taking a subject seriously. And, and jokes and, and wit can be a way of exploring really serious subjects. Um, you know, some of the greatest works of literature are satirical novels um, and making fun of something in either a gentle way or in a really savage way can be a really good way of, you know, critiquing injustice or, um, or, or you know, exploring the way a society works. One writer who writes for both young people and adults who does this really well is Terry Pratchett and his books are very funny fantasy novels but um, in them, he, he tackles everything from war to uh, to gun violence to sexism. Um, and he does it all while being really funny the whole time. Because the serious, writing about serious things isn't, doesn't necessarily mean being solemn. And even if you are writing a solemn story, as I said, there, there can be moments of, of wit and humour in it. One thing that I think is important to bear in mind, obviously you follow, as I said, what you find funny yourself, but it's really important to think, who is the target of this humour? Am I punching up at the more powerful or the, the, the more um, established structures that affect everybody? Or am I punching down a bit at people who are, you know, the butt of the joke and don't really have a voice of their own? And I think it's really important to bear that in mind because, you know, you can get a cheap laugh by being the equivalent of the the school bully and picking on the, the weaker or the most underrepresented. But I mean, who wants to be the school bully? So I think that's, it is something to bear in mind is, am I attacking the powerful or the powerless? And you don't have to be attacking anything at all. Sometimes just figure out what you think is simply ridiculous is more than enough. I mean, P.G. Woodhouse is one of my favourite writers and there's nothing serious about his books at all. They are purely written to make people laugh and that's a really honourable thing to do. Um, so if that's the sort of book you want to write, don't feel you should be writing about something more weighty. Uh, just follow follow your, your sense of humour. Um, because the thing is, you sort of have to have a sense of humour. As you can see, my cash just came in and uh, jumped into a chair. And uh, I could stop the video or I could admit she is kind of hilarious looking. So I'll just let her do what she wants until she starts whipping the chair. Um, so she does not have a sense of humour. Beebles, get down. See? I can't take anything seriously around here. So follow what you find funny. It might be an annoying cat. It might be an annoying sibling. Uh, it might be the state of the world. It can be a fantasy novel. It can be a romance. Um, it can be an epic adventure. But it's always worthwhile trying to find out the things that can make you laugh.